Each year at uh, Design in Darba, the event is addressed by a host of international speakers. And the big buzzwords this year have been around the digital and social media space. But we did catch up with one young Dutch artist who is rejecting, renouncing, eschewing all things to do with screens. Daan is uh, uh, maybe not even so much a designer, but a reform. Uh, he's a, a hippie with a business plan and he wants to update reality. Yeah. Daan Roosegaarde is considered one of the leaders of the new Dutch design movement. But contrary to what you might expect, he doesn't see himself as part of the Twitter generation. Daan believes in the merging of human element with high-tech design. I don't believe in screens. I think technology will jump out of that computer screen and is in a way already becoming a part of our body, our walls, our floors, the landscape we, we, we are in. I, I, I'm trying to get away from these screens. I mean, it, I don't know how, how it's with you, but it's so, we're so obsessed with it. it well, why do we share our emotions rather to a virtual cloud up there and we sort of almost, I'm talking per personally, uh, neglecting the, the, the physical world, which at the moment, by the way, is crashing. So, so why don't we, we merge these worlds together? So, I mean, we can make floors which generate electricity when you dance on them yeah, in the club. We can make roads which charge at daytime and give light at night for eight hours. So why are we not doing that? Um, an existing system is crashing in terms of economy, in terms of energy. Uh, so we need to rethink what we want to do with reality and stop, you know, 1% updating an old system. These normal rules don't apply anymore. Because tech is, is, is a tool, you know, it's not interesting in itself. It's about what kind of stories you generate uh, with the environment, with yourself, with each other. So it's more about storytelling than, than, than this bloody microchip, which is completely irrelevant for me. I mean, it's a great tool, but nothing more than that. Some of his most noteworthy projects include interactive hugging pillars, which light up and change color when hugged. And more recently, a collection of see-through dresses called Intimacy. As a young designer, I've always believed that we should merge the world of, of innovation with imagination. You know? So I, I believe in high tech, but I also believe in high social. That we should use tech to, to create more human interactions. Uh, the dre Intimacy, the dress project, is about that, where we make sort of a smart material which can change in transparency when you become more intimate with the person. Uh, uh, so it's sort of social media in its extreme form, uh, and it's out there now. The Intimacy Collection might also see an extension soon, so all men beware. Oh man, you can do anything uh, if you want. Uh, we're working on the suit now for men, uh, which becomes transparent when they lie, especially for the banking world. So I mean, uh, a lot of applications are, uh, are possible. Uh, maybe that's good. Maybe that's part of good design. Uh, it should create a slightly uncomfortable situation. Maybe that's the only way things are going to change. This mix between technology, ideology and imagination is something that Dan calls techno-poetry. There's a pragmatic side where you want to build, you want to realize, but there's also a poetic side in which you're exploring a new world of self-sustainability, of, of, of rethinking values. Uh, so I think, yeah, for me it's always been these, how to merge these worlds together of, of, of my imagination and my, my dreams and this hard, brutal world out, out there. Yeah. While his approach may be somewhat unconventional, his plans for the future could just be the answer to various social problems. Right now, I would love to make a pill. When you talk about light, it's still this LED and these cables, and it's so rough, but in a way we are made out of light. We're made out of these stars a long, long time ago, so I would love to make a small pill based on these jellyfishes which generate their own light. A pill which when you would swallow, you would give light yourself. I think it's possible in a way because your skin is it lets light through. Uh, 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 a lot of animals do it. They have fishes in Singapore which light up when there's pollution in the river. They ge uh, genetically modify them. Uh, they're still alive and happy, but they have this proactive attitude. So if animals can do it, why can't we? There's this whole world waiting for new ideas. It's not just me. It's, it's, uh, it needs so much ideas on healthcare energy. And that's what a good designer or a good reformer can, can do and can operate. And I mean, if you look at the world today, if there's ever been a moment to do something like that, it is today. So uh, fascinating. Yeah. To go out there and you know, forget the ja maar, forget the yes but, and make it happen. Yeah.
Yeah. I'll, I'll tell you one, uh, one, um, one thing I also want to realize. Uh, we, we've been working on the Ja Maar chair, the Yes But chair. Yeah, Ja Maar. Eh, so when, people, when you talk about innovation, and, and okay, there's always an, a generation which says Ja Maar, and it sums up all the reasons why it could never be done, uh, which of course, as a good designer, you should systematically ignore. Um, so we made the Ja Maar chair which is a chair, when you, like, like this one in a way, when you sit on it, it has a little voice recognition. And the moment you say those very creative, deconstructive little words, you get a short but pretty intense little shock on the you-know-what part of your body. Uh, 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 and it's, it's great because all the clients who come down to our studio, they don't even dare to say it anymore. So the quality of the project goes up and, and in a way that's what we want. So. No disclaimer. I, I, I really think, uh, for sure, we should be rational, uh, uh, but, but I think that kind of attitude kills a lot. And they had their time, now it's ours. This is Mags on Media from Design in Darba 2013 and up in just a moment, a very animated Helene Lindsay from New Media Publishing. Here's the new phone, it's fabulous, price point 9.99. It's not the next big thing. <laughs> Make the logo big, it's just not big enough. And she'll talk pushy brand campaigns and the growing importance of content marketing done right. <laughs> 